emotional freedom technique, also known as tapping, is a way of um, unblocking any sort of energy blocks or fears or anxieties um, that are troubling you. So today I want to focus on body image. Body image related to your body changing. So we'll be quite specific today. Related to body changing to uh, being pregnant and releasing the fact that your uh, body is changing and maybe you're having an emotional response that's negative, even though you're happy to be pregnant, but you're shaming yourself for the way you're looking because the body is changing. So the way tapping works is we bring up the emotional feeling and the stronger the feeling, that's what we tap on. So then we work around the, the, the pressure points, the energy points, and we'll release that emotion and we keep tapping until we get back to a bit more of a, a neutral feeling. So we're kind of uh, discharging the sensation, the emotional connection to those thoughts and feelings. Because you want to be happy because you're pregnant and so there's an element of acceptance. So we need to think about that. So close your eyes now and take a few breaths. So just listen to my voice and we'll, I will guide you through it and take a few breaths. And I really want you to think about how you feel about your body. What is it? How do you feel when you look in the mirror now, when you're naked? How do you feel about the thought of your body changing? What emotions do you feel when you think about the fact that your body may take a long time to get back to its original fitness? What emotions come up when you think about how all you've done all your life as a young woman is try to get your ideal body but you've never quite reached that goal so you have this feeling of dissatisfaction with yourself and not really enjoying or loving the body or the skin that you're in close your eyes go into this feeling and now you're pregnant you're happy to be pregnant your body is changing you're watching changes every day you feel different you're worried about your fitness levels. You're worried about not being able to go and do the things you used to do. You're worried about your skin changing. You're worried about putting on weight and not losing the weight again. Go into this and think about these emotions. How does that make you feel? Where do you feel it? Which part of your body? Does it make you feel anxious? Does it make you feel nervous? Does it make you feel resentful? Are you feeling resentful for the fact you are feeling resentful and you should be feeling happy? Are you feeling guilty about having these thoughts? Do you feel any anxiety or stress or sensation in your belly, in your heart space, where in your mind, can you feel a knot growing? Really think about this for a few moments. And on a scale of one to 10, I want you to note to yourself out of 10, how you feel emotionally about this subject. 10 being distraught, and zero being nothing. How do you feel on a one to ten of the anxiety and the stress that you're feeling because of these thoughts you're having? And take note of it. Now I want you to keep these emotions, these feelings, these thoughts, because you need to feel this bad negative energy that you have to tap on it. So we're going to start on the karate chop point here and just chop here and we'll do the setup statement. Even though I have anxiety about being pregnant and my body is changing, I truly and deeply love 
and accept myself. Listen to those words. Repeat again. Even though I'm worried, I have stress and anxiety and fear about my body changing and being pregnant, I truly and deeply love and respect myself. Again, even though I'm carrying this anxiety and stress about being pregnant and my body changing and putting on weight and not losing it again, I truly and deeply love and respect myself. Say those words. I truly and deeply love and respect myself. I keep tapping. Now let's move to the eyebrow point here. So just tapping gently here and bring up a full notion. Being pregnant, body is changing. My body is changing. Tap to the outside of the eyebrow here. My body is changing and I'm worried I'm going to get fat again. I'm worried I'm going to get fatter. Under the eye point, I feel stressed. I feel anxious. I'm worried my child is going to get my anxiety. Under the nose, I have a bad feeling body image. I'm worried about being pregnant and my body changing. Under here, I'm worried about my body changing. I'm stressed about my body changing. What if it doesn't go back? Collar points here, just in this indentation. Body changing, being pregnant. I'm worried about my unhealthy body image. I'm worried about my unhealthy body image. Tap under the armpit. Stressed about my body. Worried about the future. Worried that my child is going to pick up my body negativity. Top of the head. Stressed about my body changing, being pregnant. Don't like the way I look. I hate the way I look. Feeling stressed. Just say anything negative coming up. Doesn't matter what it is. It's just as long as you genuinely feel it, that's your emotion. Let's go around again. Body changing. Being pregnant. Outside of the eye. Feeling stressed. Worried my child will get my negative energy. Under the eye. Feeling stressed about being stressed. Feeling guilty about being pregnant. Feeling guilty for not enjoying my pregnancy. Feeling guilty for not enjoying my body. Accepting, can't accept my body changing. Feeling worried. Collarbone. Worried about my body changing. Feeling stress and anxiety. Can't let go. Under the armpit. Worried about being pregnant. Body changing. Worried my negative body image will be passed on to my child. Can't let go of the old me. Trouble embracing being pregnant. Worried. Guilty for these thoughts. Feeling guilty. Negative. Body image. Worried about my body changing. Close your eyes, take a deep inhalation, and exhale. Now notice on a scale of 1 to 10, if your anxiety has reduced, if it's reduced and it's less than the original score you gave yourself, well done, you released some of that negative charge. You can go around again, go around as many times as it feels good, to keep dropping it down. It will never get down to zero, but get down to something where you feel good. You feel kind of nothing about it, you know, to keep going over. The more emotion and negative charge you have, the stronger this works. Sometimes you might cry. If you cry, let it out. You might start tapping and other emotions will start to arise, other thoughts and feelings you didn't think about. You're kind of uncovering. So tap on that as well. You're just breaking it all down. Once you've dropped the scale down and you're feeling better about it, it's nice to add a round of uh, positive affirmation, you know, what you're looking forward to. So we can start with the uh, eye here, the side of the eyebrow. Excited about being pregnant. 
My body is amazing. My body is strong, is creative life. I am a strong woman. My body is amazing and I'm excited to be pregnant. Under the nose, my child is healthy. My body is healthy. My body is doing exactly what it needs to do and I trust my body. Under the chin, Nicola, I trust my body. My body is amazing and I'm excited for the future. Collarbone. I look in the mirror and I love what I see because my body is doing exactly what it's meant to do. My body is amazing. Under the armpit, I feel good about my body image. I feel good about me and I'm excited. I release the old worries and the old me. My child will be healthy and so will I. I feel good being pregnant. My body loves it. I enjoy watching my skin change and my body change and my fitness will go back to normal. I trust my body is strong. Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. And you can go around and do another round of affirmations. Make sure you've done the work on the negative thoughts and associations first, first before you move on. Good, let me know how you get on. EFT can be very powerful. Use it regularly and do it every day and you'll see a change, I promise.